Well, I, I find it frightening in the sense that have you ever watched any of those uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger movies about uh, these uh, Terminators? Oh, it's like okay, that's kind of scary. Uh, where now suddenly all the police are robots, and the police are robots. They may not understand the context of what they think is a crime, and that might not really be a crime. Or this could be used by some government to basically control the population. I mean, for example, in uh, China, uh, they have face recognition technology where they're literally watching Chinese citizens to see if they're behaving in the way the government wants them to behave. Wow. And uh, every uh, citizen has what they call a social credit account. Uh, based on the facial recognition of watching what they do, if they're doing the, what the government wants them to do, they're able to get a higher salary, a better apartment to live in, uh, they get vacations that people with lower social credit wouldn't get. And it's such that people in China said, you know, I don't like the fact that uh, government is basically dictating what I should do and how I should live. Yes. And so now they're wearing hoodies, putting sunglasses on to try to, uh, you know, uh, prevent the all these cameras from being able to snoop on them. Well, guess what? They've used, uh, you know, our artificial intelligence saying, we don't need to see your face anymore. Wow. We just simply need to see the way you walk. Now, that's a lot harder to hide uh, the way you walk, but they literally can tell who you are by the way you walk. Wow. And so now the people are saying, let's see if I can wear really baggy pants and see if that will. So there's a battle going on. Uh, but the ultimate point is, is that really the responsibility of the government to dictate the way you live? No. To dictate what religion you'll believe? To dictate how many children you should have and how you should raise them? 